Well, helping provide insight into this year's expo is Sarahan Hakapolo. He's the CEO of Business Environment Risk Intelligence and a global economic analyst for us here at CGT CGTN. Um, let's talk about the headlines from the Shanghai Expo so far. China's saying it's going to push for more openness. Let's talk about that. What does it mean? And could the U.S. find itself on the outside looking in, considering the state of trade agreements between the two nations? Well, the second one first. Uh, yes, the answer is yes for that, because um, this symposium is the second one um, that's back to back now. And um, it is a, it's a sign that um, China realizes, we knew China realized, but also other countries realized that China's, Chinese economy actually is switching now from one based on investment economy to one that's based on consumption. There's about 120 million people in China that has 20,000 and more in income. Mm -hmm. Now, the economy is going to be slowing down. That's normal. There's going to be a soft landing, probably. But that is not going to impact this bracket, which is expected to grow by 50% in 10 years. So there's a huge market. There's a huge opportunity here. Other countries are seeing it. There are bilateral de deals being made at the same time. So yes, I think the US is, right now, with the politics of it, is in a situation where these opportunities look like they're going to be missed. You know, you talked about it, um, but a middle class that's hundreds of millions, more than the population of the United States. I believe the figures I saw said that last year China spent about $115 billion on luxury goods. This year it's expected to be about $170 billion. Nearly 4,000 companies represented at this expo. It seems like the launch pad is set for all kinds of deals to be, uh, to be announced in the coming days. Absolutely. And at the same time, we have been seeing China opening up to foreign businesses. This includes American businesses as well. In September, for example, uh, Premier Li met with uh, BMW and Airbus executives. Um, there are uh, the U.S. companies in the financial industry um, met with Chinese delegation not too long ago. So it is all about opening up. But the issue here is that is, that is at odds with the U.S. government is that the government here wants China to open up at its own pace. Mm -hmm. the pace of the United States. That is not happening, and that shouldn't happen, because we're talking about a big economy that needs to accommodate a lot of people as the switch is being made. But look, financial industry opening is set for 2020. It's, it's happening already, but it's going to take uh, accelerate in 2020. And there are many other businesses right now looking at China and seeing these regulations being relaxed. Foreign investment law is going to be taken up in 2020, and it's actually going to pass. So uh, we're going to see it in, at a more accelerated pace, this opening. We saw French President Macron and President Xi Jinping talking about the $15 billion deal they signed. But so far, year to year, it seems that China's imports to the United States uh, the, the goods they send to the United States are down more than $53 billion from last year. So they need to find another uh, place for all that trading. Are they going to find it? This they time? are. I mean, look, the, the number of companies that are being represented, the uh, interested businesses in, in Chinese market, yes. Maybe it's not going to make up the number that's, uh, that is being lost by the U.S. situation, but it's probably going to even it up. So it is, to me, when I look at the numbers, I'm seeing, well, you know, this trade war actually is not going to cost China that much. I was at a conference last week on China in the United mm -hmm. States. Not a single federal government official was there, but state governors were there, several of them. And they talked about how important Chinese business is and how important this relationship is uh, now and especially in the future. So yes, this is happening. And one more thing about the uh, Chinese market, about imports we were talking about. But the, the government is actually asking exporters now to focus on the domestic economy right. and come up with products that will address that economy. So things are changing structurally in China. And uh, unfortunately, right now, we're outside looking in. And so, Hyanna, a topic for another time. The U.S. has only dropped about $15 billion in its trade to China. But percentage-wise, it's a lot more. But we'll deal with that later. Sarhan, thanks very much.